Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. Now the cool guys over at ColorFab, you know the guys that make a lot of the material I use, uh, sent me a new material that they have. It's actually called Bronze Fill. It's a PLA PHA filament, just like the regular plastics, except for it has bronze in it. Like literally, the metal bronze. Which means it weighs a ton. When I first picked up the box, I was like, holy crap, this weighs a lot, literally. Uh, but you can also sand and polish these things down and the bronze particles will shine just like the metal counterpart. And it'll basically look like bronze. And it'll weigh like bronze. Because it is bronze. Mostly. All right, well now that we got some bronze filament, we need something to print with it. Well, luckily for me, a guy named Ricardo Alves went ahead and 3D modeled my head. I probably should find that a little creepy, huh? Well, regardless, he did it. And the model is posted on myminifactory.com. So now all you guys can print out Jerry's little head. Who wouldn't want to play with Jerry's little head? All right, well, all joking aside, I think the 3D model is absolutely brilliant. He did a fantastic job. And the link is down in the video description if you guys want to print out Jerry's little head. <laughs> Well, I think it would be cool to print my head in bronze just so it can sit on my desk next to all my other dolls that have my head on it, and I'm starting to feel just a little narcissistic. What am I talking about? I'm a YouTube producer. Of course I'm narcissistic. I'm just kidding, guys. In all fairness, it's just badass to have a 3D printed bronze version of your head sitting on your desk. Come on, it makes you feel like, like special. All right, well, let's get this model sliced and diced and over to the 3D printer. All right, guys, here we have the latest version of Cura. It's 14.09 open. And for those of you guys that haven't watched my previous videos, Cura is my preferred slicer that I use for all of my 3D printers, regardless of brand. Currently, I have it set up for my Ultimaker Original because that's kind of my workhorse, and this is a brand new material I've never used before. And the Ultimaker Original is on the approved materials list by ColorFab, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try on there first. All right, let's go ahead and import my head. It does take a little while to load. There it is, because it is a very, very detailed model. Okay, so the first thing we notice is it's pointing in the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and select that. We're gonna come down and do a quick rotation, flip it around on the front. And the other thing is I'd like it to be a little bit larger than it currently is. I'd like it to be about four inches. So let's go down and scale and we're gonna go on the Z axis here. We're gonna scale it up to 101.6. All right, so now we end up with a model that when it's printed, it'll be about four inches in height, which should be perfect. All right, now as far as layer height for this first time printing with this material, we're gonna go for a 0.16 layer height and we want a really thick shell on it too so we're going to go for a two millimeter inner shell and then for fill density we're going to go ahead and just go with the 10 percent inner fill density go ahead and lower the temperature down to 210 and then for the print speed we're going to leave it at 50. we don't want to go real fast with this material since it's it's pretty new everything else i'm going to leave exactly the same now you can see up here it's going to take a while to slice this this is a very very complicated model here's the layer view so you can get an idea of how it's going to print from the ground up. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish, save it to the drive and take it over to the printer. Well, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the whole time lapse because unfortunately, XSplit hit a problem and stopped recording. Damn you, XSplit, damn you. But at least you get to see the final product. Here it is, four inch tall, Jerry. Now you can already tell I've started to polish the bottom on this and you can see that it's actually pretty, pretty shiny like around the side and the chin area here. Uh, the way that the light reflects off of it is very, very metallic and I haven't even sanded it down to get all the ridges yet. So I'm actually using a combination of sandpaper and steel wool to, to do the sanding on this to maintain as much of the detail as possible. Now, another crazy thing like I was saying in the beginning about this material is it's very heavy. This actually feels like it's made out of metal or like stone. It doesn't feel like plastic at all and the weight definitely doesn't represent plastic at all. I actually went and snuck and stole my wife's kitchen scales. All right, we got it all zeroed out. Let's see how much this thing weighs. According to this, it's 11 and 5 eighths ounces. All right, now just to give a little contrast, I've got a couple other items here. Let's go ahead and weigh the Terminator skull. It's giant by comparison. 
Now this is just plastic. You see it only weighs a little over six ounces compared to that thing weighing over 11. All right, well, let's try this. This was printed uh, fairly solid infill, really heavy, really robust in PLA PHA. Let's weigh this. You can see that's only about a little over eight ounces. So you can see that is incredibly heavy material. All right, so hopefully that gives you guys an idea of just how heavy and dense this material is. I wish I could tell you how it felt. I mean, there's, there's no real way to articulate it. It definitely doesn't feel like plastic though. And you can see because I printed it at uh, 0.16, it's not the highest resolution the printer could do. So you can see there is a lot of little lines and ridges throughout this thing. So it's gonna take a lot of sanding to get it down to a point where I can ultimately buff it to a metallic shine. But you can already tell the promising results just from polishing with a little bit of steel wool for a couple of minutes. I can already tell this thing's gonna shine like a diamond. Like a bronze diamond. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see the final product and how I actually finish this thing and polish it and that whole process, I'm gonna be making another video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'll be out next week. Also, if you guys wanna get some of your own material and try it, I've got the links down in the description to ColorFab's website and Printed Solid. So you can actually go and purchase your own bronze fill filament. And if you guys enjoyed watching me print with experimental material, let me know. There are a lot of experimental materials out there and I'd be willing to make videos on all of them if it's something you guys are interested in so just let me know down in the comments well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video please take a moment and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot also come over to twitter i'm at barnacles i'm a real social guy also if you have a couple of minutes check out some of these many other videos i made them myself <laughs>